Hey everyone, I'm Zach, and this is a demo that I've been working on for the past week or so. Uh, I'm here in VR in my Vive room scale environment. Uh, I've got a three-dimensional force-directed graph in front of me, uh, and then following me around as I walk uh, around the model is a menu panel that is created with my Hover UI kit. So Hover UI kit is a tool that developers can use to create uh, menu interfaces and other interactive elements in, um, in virtual reality and augmented reality environments using three-dimensional input like Leap Motion Hands or the Vive controllers or soon Oculus Touch. Um, so the first thing I can do here is show you how the menu works. Um, I can make these all blue if I want or green. I can make them random colors a couple times. I can do a depth-based coloring where it starts at the center and works uh, transitions the hue as, as you get uh, deeper into the tree of the graph. I'll go back to my starting cool depth coloring. Um, now, before we get too much further, I want to show you that this thing is interactive, which is probably the best part of the, the app. Um, the menus are interesting. You know, you've got to be able to control things in VR, but this is, uh, this is a <laughs> pretty satisfying experience watching these things bounce around. Um, so how this works, just briefly, is that each node that's connected tries to pull towards uh, its connections, and nodes that are not connected push away from each other. Uh, this is how a force-directed graph works. Um, so in 3D, you see it creates these clusters. Uh, and actually, I'll, I'll make a bigger one for you. So I'll bring this up. So this will uh, show a little bit more clustering. So we have more nodes in this in this graph. Um, you can see it's still interactive. And uh, you can imagine, right now this is just random data, uh, but you can imagine that these are, say, websites that have hyperlinks between them. Uh, and so this could really be a, a very interesting tool for um, data visualization and uh, manipulating the data, you know, maybe pushing it around, trying to get clusters closer together. Um, and we can also do some control of individual nodes. So I'll show that right now. Um, so say I want to select this one, uh, just like the menu below, it's got a, uh, a hover selector on it, and each, each node has that. I'll do this one. And we can change its color. And while I'm doing that, you can notice that each of these uh, has a light inside of it, so it illuminates my hand based on the, the emissions of the nodes that are nearby. You can also change the size of these guys. And I bounce around. Okay, so go into the forces menu here. Um, so here we've got gravity, the repulsion force, the attraction force, and springiness. So I'll turn up springiness and maybe um, bring all these in so we can see what happens if we just hit them. Um, and while I'm doing that, we can notice that the stability graph is keeping track of the, the average velocities and forces on each of the nodes. And it's using that information to find out how stable the graph is. And so stability here just means how uh, how confident are we about the structure of the graph that, that these things are in more or less a, an optimized uh, position, uh, a position where uh, the forces are balanced and things aren't uh, still aren't pushing each other around too much. So you can see we might try to scoop one of these nodes and bring it over here and the other ones push away from each other to, to make space and, and balance out the graph. Okay, uh, so that's that's pretty much this menu, the graph, and at this size, you can see I can walk around here. I've got a, a room scale space. Now I can show you, this is called Hovercast. This is also made with Hover UI. Um, so I think I'm gonna, I'm still got some work to do on this menu, but you can see I can use it to control the, the size and position of the graph. So here I've got it very large, and uh, to get back in this menu, see I'm in the altitude menu, that's that's a wrong label. Um, you can grab your hand, or we can press this arrow button. 
So here in the menu panel, uh, I don't really like how this is working at the moment, so I'm gonna I'm gonna change this. But right now we can control its its height and radius relative to the uh, to the graph. Uh, you can see I can open and close the hovercast menu there, so it's not in my way anymore. Um, okay, so now I've got a room scale graph, and I'm going to change the settings to make this a little bit bigger and more spread out. So it's a little bit more fun to play with. It's still on its springiness mode. So, um, so I can go in here and say, I want to scoop up the root of this node and let it fall. Pretty cool. And here I've got my large orange one that I made earlier. And these still all, oops, there's my hand. There we go. Still illuminate me. And if they also illuminate on the floor, so I can select this and you can see it creates a nice lighting effect right on the floor there. Boom, boom. So anyway, uh, this is the demo as it currently stands. I've got some work to do. Um, talked about the changing some things with the hover menu. This, I think I want to be able to just summon it to me. I don't want to have to control its, its radius and height. I just want to say, all right, wherever I am right now, I'm going to go sit on the floor wherever I am bring it to me so I can I can modify the graph. Um, still got a bunch of other things to, to work on too, but this is where I'm at right now. Uh, hopefully I'll have a demo that you guys can run and try out in a few days. Thanks for watching.